the new fallout this morning after that fatal police shooting of a yoga and meditation instructor in Minneapolis. The police chief resigned on Friday, but now frustrated demonstrators want the mayor to step down as well. And ABC's Ariel Reshef joins us with more. Good morning to you, Ariel. Good morning, Paul and Dan. Minneapolis city leaders under fire this morning. Protesters storming a press conference outraged over police shootings that have plagued the Twin Cities. Get it! Shut it down! This morning, the fallout from Justine Damon's shocking death, leading the Minneapolis police chief to resign. Chief Harto is not in a position to lead us further. Mayor Betsy Hodges herself becoming the target of boiling anger. We don't want you as our mayor of Minneapolis anymore. This press conference spinning out of control. Your police department has terrorized us enough. Listen. We do not want you as the mayor of Minneapolis. Listen. And we're asking you to resign. Right now. Please. We don't want you here anymore. The police shooting of the 40-year-old Australian bride-to-be coming one year after Philando Castile was killed by police during a traffic stop outside St. Paul. At a march for Damon, Castile's mother Valerie seen offering comfort to Damon's fiance. But so far, Mohammed Noor, the officer who opened fire on Damon, keeping quiet. We cannot compel Officer Noor to make a statement. I wish we could. Investigators working to piece together why Noor shot Damon after responding to her 911 call. In the transcript, she says, I can hear someone out the back, telling dispatch she thought someone was being assaulted. Noor's partner, Matthew Harity, claiming the two were startled by a loud noise moments before Damon appeared next to their patrol car in a dark alley. Noor shooting Damon through the window. Neither of their body cameras turned on. The officers administering CPR, but it was too late. And the assistant police chief will now take over the Minneapolis Police Department, the mayor insisting she will not resign. Police have talked to one person who stopped at the scene as officers were trying to re revive Damon. They're asking for any other potential witnesses to now come forward. A lot of anger in Minneapolis. A lot. Real thanks. Thank you.